hello guys welcome to another video today we are going to talk about depletion actually what is depletion depletion is similar to the depreciation so what we are going to do here it is the accounting process of allocating the historical cost of wasting natural resources such as oil gas timber and minerals to the production process over the periods benefited from its use okay so the point is how you will calculate the depletion for natural resources so here we have a few steps the step number one what we need to do here we need to calculate the depletion base so depletion base how we will calculate we need to take the cost of asset i mean say the cost of land or the cost to purchase the property if we will plus here development cost to prepare the land for the extraction maybe you will enter certain cost to extract the minerals from the land so you will add here any estimated restoration cost maybe you have, you will incur some dismantling cost or restoration cost to fill the land so that should also be added less residual value of the land after the resources are extracted so if you have any residual value you will subtract so this is how you will get the depletion base so step number two what you need to do we will calculate here the depletion rate per unit how you will calculate this is the formula so you will take the depletion base which you have calculated in step number one divided by estimated recoverable units i mean so the units which you are going to extract this is the estimated units okay total units so you will divide it here you will get unit depletion rate so step number three is what you need to calculate the periodic de depletion how you will calculate so total depletion or the periodic depletion will be equal to units depletion rate which you have calculated in step number two you will simply multiply with the number of units extracted okay in the given period if you will multiply so you will get the total depletion so here we go now the point number four the step number four is so what we need to do we will allocate the periodic depletion i mean so this total depletion we are going to allocate to the cost of goods sold and to the inventory for example if your total depletion is 500 dollars what we are going to do here so we are going to allocate we are going to separate to the cost of goods sold okay to the extent units are sold and we are gonna gonna to allocate to the inventory as a cost of material to the extent units are unsold for example maybe 60 percent units are sold so what you will do the five uh, 100 times 60 percent you will take it to the cost of goods sold and if 40 percent units are unsold what you will do you will take 500 times 40 percent you will take it to the inventory and once it has allocated then you will pass this entry so you will double the cost of goods sold to the extent units are sold and we will credit the inventory to the extent units are unsold and we will credit the accumulated depletion which is contra asset account and sometimes most of the companies what they do they directly credit the natural resource account okay instead of accumulated depletion you can also credit the asset also okay the wasting asset directly if you don't want to maintain the accumulated depletion account okay so here we go whatever the amount you are going to record as a part of the inventory so this is called that as a cost of direct material okay so here we have a question let's see how it will work with the help of data so here we go in year one happy mine corporation purchased a mineral this is the cost of purchase purchase the mineral mine for 3.4 million with the removable or estimated by geological survey at 4 million tons so actually this is the total recoverable units which you are expecting to recover or to extract from the land the property has an estimated value of $200,000 after the ore has been extracted. So actually, this is the residual value. So the company incurred $800,000 of the development cost preparing the mine for production. So actually, this is the development cost which should be capitalized. During year one, 400,000 tons were removed. This is the production of the year one and 375,000 tons were sold. It means we have 25,000 tons which are unsold so it means whatever the depletion you will get so you will take it to the inventory up to the extent units are sold 
and you will take it to the cost of goods sold also up to the extent units are sold okay to the inventory we will take unsold okay up to the extent units are unsold so here we go requirement number one is calculate the depletion base for the mineral mine so then requirement number two here we have calculate the amount of depletion uh, the mine should record for year one this is here you have to provide depletion expense requirement number three is determine the amount of depletion the mine should include in the cost of goods sold and for the year one okay and of course we will also answer how much value of the depletion we have to take it to the inventory okay so here we go so first of all if you want to calculate the depletion base which is our first requirement so this is the formula to calculate the depletion base we have a cost of land plus development cost plus restoration cost minus residual value so the cost of land was 3.4 million okay this is the cost of land development cost was eight hundred thousand dollar okay restoration cost is zero residual value is two hundred thousand so if you will take this 3.4 million plus eight hundred thousand minus uh, plus zero minus two hundred thousand so this is how you will get the depletion base which is equal to four million this is the step number one in step number two what you need to do you need to calculate the depletion rate per unit so how you will calculate the unit depletion you need a depletion base which is equal to four million dollar divided by estimated recoverable units which are also four million tons if you will divide you will get dollar one per ton this is the depletion rate now in step number three what you will do you have to calculate that periodic depletion for year one so simply what you will do you will take unit depletion rate multiply by units extracted the unit depletion rate is dollar one per unit so multiply by 400 units were extracted extracted in year one so you will get periodic depletion for year one which is equal to four hundred thousand dollar now the point is so we have to uh, calculate how much depletion we will include in the cost of goods sold you know total units were extracted four hundred thousand out of out of that 375000 units were sold it means so up to this extent we will take it to the cost of goods sold okay and 25000 units are unsold so it means up to 25000 units we will take it to the inventory so this is what you are going to do here so simply what you will do so here we have a periodic uh, depletion unit depletion rate okay this is how much value you are going to take it to the cost of goods sold you will take uh, unit depletion rate which is dollar one per unit multiply by unit sold which is three hundred and seventy five thousand so it means this much money we will take it to the cost of goods sold now the point is how much money you will how much depletion you will take it to the inventory of course there is a twenty five thousand units are unsold multiply by unit depletion rate which is dollar one it means twenty five thousand dollar we will take it to the inventory and what entry you will pass as we have just discussed so inventory entry will be debit cost of goods sold we will debit the cost of goods sold by three hundred and seventy five thousand we will debit the inventory okay as a as a cost of material which is twenty five thousand and we will credit the accumulated depletion or asset it's up to you how you are managing your chart of accounts so which is equal to four hundred thousand dollars i hope guys it is clear uh, see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye